And hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with Frostpunk, second part of our New London, or our story series, should I say. And we're back where we were. We're doing pretty good, I think. Um, got a bit of housing we need to sort. I'm just, I need to adjust my chair, get a bit closer. We're good on food, just. Industries, still got 83 weeks. We've got fuel coming in, in abundance. Abundance, if you see the new Mad Max. A place of abundance. And we have more, log more logistics teams on their way. Now, I think we do need to get a industrial district now these produce is it prefabs is it materials into prefabs of goods can produce other resource with additional infrastructure right so it makes prefabs but we need to get this so we can build that now where does it have any benefits to being close to the industry maybe you know what i'm gonna cross break the crap out of some land yeah let's do that and we'll put it near that massive because this one's a massive industrial position. We also do need some more housing. If we can get more frost breakers, we're going to frost break into this valley a bit more. There is industry there. Can we frost break? Oh, that one's pretty far taken already. Yeah, let's frost break further down here because it is a viable valley. There we go. Let's get going. Cool. And then construction, industrial district. So. Oh, near, near extraction district. Okay, that does benefit us. We'll leave some gaps in between so we can... Right, we'll, we'll, we can probably sort something. Get some more heat. Near industrial ones. What right, if we place that there? Well, that benefits them both. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's build that. Hopefully we can get some goods produced. We've still got 29 weeks of that. We do need to get some more industry. We should have... Right, we build another housing district, which is great. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So that should cover the housing. Oh, I'll tell you what. New laws available. What laws are available? So, survival. There are no defined standards on goods. Ooh, what's for city? Is this to keep people happy? Promise the pilgrims. Oh, what did I promise them? I completely forgot about these sons of guns. It's not one week's left. It's 24 weeks. It's city development effort. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, there's all, what's the rule? Guarding forces. Lots guard voted to you, which greatly increases the odds of passing a law in the council. That's useful, but I think we should be fine. So, this is... What's this? The one we promised was... Main district blue small amount of pre hat fabs. Okay. Oh, for the yeah, propose it loads of for it. Let's do it. Vote. Let's pass that easy win for us. The oh, that was massive. Eyes have it. The eyes have it. Good, good, good. So that gets us a small amount of pre fabs. That's nice. Housing's being produced. What the hell is this? Little Josie being coughing all night. He's feeling as hot as the Jedi. It's turned. Lack of law regulating contagion prevention court. Okay. We can sort that eventually. Now we do need to look at. I think. So heating's one thing. Resources. Factory. Oh, factories. Large facility using discarded prefabs and goods, no matter how set soil to, to manufacture new ones with minimal resources. Okay. Mechanical factory. Ooh. Mechanical factory. Okay, that looks interesting. Whoa, 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 one sec. Another thing is things like sawmills. Massive sawmill in which frozen wood is cut into usable materials without undergoing any treatment. Speeding up the process but exposing people to spores and fungi. Okay. Mechanical summer, massive summer, loading frozen wood directly into mortuary machines that separates usable. Okay, I don't really know which one's useful there. Waste heat conversion. What's this? Ah. Oh. Hmm. Reduction in efficiency is increased. The excess heat produced by industry machines will be reduced by the machines to allow them to operate at a higher capacity. Okay, that should get extraction and stuff up, which is good. 
I don't think we can build on that to really use it. Extraction. No. We can build um good stockpile hub, I guess. But we don't need that, we haven't got the goods as is. So we just got to think. Um oh we need to expand this. I've completely forgot about this. One, two, three. And I expanded. So we're just taking our time because obviously I'm in uncharted territory and what's gonna happen. Food's stable, we've got 26 weeks for that and obviously crime's getting pretty bad. For sure, we can't do another vote yet, can we now? Another eight weeks, okay. And that should be up soon. Cool. Can we switch it to other things, to goods then? Production, what's it produce? Should be... Oh, because we haven't got enough materials, have we? Okay. We need industry. That's the biggest thing we need, is industry. Okay. Oh, one sec. Hold a sec, hold a sec. Get the housing done. Industry's struggling like hell. We've got the expansion there. Right. Now, we could pull more bodies in. This would bring us... We've got that working. This would bring us another... 2,000 people. Okay. Right. Got a plan. Got a bit of a plan. We'll need food, but we'll also need industry. What we're going to do? The prefab place is going to shut down all of a sudden, just for a little bit. We have, should have enough prefabs. We do need to get food and industry clocking massively. Okay. So the first industrial... Oh, there's a lot of industry over here. Right? We, can, we can take advantage of this. That's been used already, but these ones here is a really big stockpile. What about down here? Let's just have a quick check. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do that. Right, we'll get that as industry. Let's get another frost breaking team. I want this food up here. Awesome. Let's get them done quick. Bang. Industrial district. Not not fast broken. Oh no, it's extraction district, my bad. Cool, never done. And then food. Why can't we build food again? Requires thirty three more prefabs. Son of a gun. To the nearest maintenance office. Uh, get that re get that back on. Cool. As of right now, make prefabs. Screw the goods, well, sort it later. Right. We're going to need. How much food have we got? Hmm. Not even fulfilled, so we've got to do food. There we go, cool. Right. Prefabs are coming in. We've got heat stamps. We need to get more industry and more goods, basically. Once it's done, it should. Is that the industry pumping? New law proposed by New Londoners. Eat table clocking right. That will make things more efficient. Let's try it. Oh, let's just vote. We're going to smash that. Easy peasy. Hear ye. Hear ye. The delegates have spoken. The Thought law it. takes effect. Hey, right. We should have enough Frostland teams. Have they arrived yet? So. Okay. Um, let's go down. Twenty. That's the gorge. Try that. Watch expedition then. Deposits running low. Cars ring out. Stewards. Some of the coal deposits in the district were run out. So the Starworks and the New Yorkers believe they can use explosives to access deeper coal or vein. Right. The funders say we should send children for missing or in the tighter tunnels. Some did this as kids themselves in the abandoned mine outpost and they survived unscathed. Should we support any of the idea? Late explosive, right? We'll increase by 10%, right? Oh, wait. Volunteer children, mostly frostlight families, will work the new narrow tunnels available calls 15%. Yeah, send the children into the mines. Oh, baby, the children love mines. Sure do. Note, a new rule enters into force. Okay. You got another, like, eight weeks recess. Right. Oh, we've got material surplus. Good. 
The industry's pumping. Food's on the way. We do need housing, though. We need prefabs, though. Prefabs is king. And there's not much more prefabs unless we switch the industry to it. They are producing it, though, so let's just hold for now. But it's a tough scenario. This is just the base game. Very tough. Okay. Things are progressing, though. A few people ill, but not too many. Stockpiles going up. Food's stable. Oh, what was that? 150 murdered by violent criminals. Oh, 141 murdered. What the Christ? Okay, switch back to that. Try and make it less bad. Prefabs ain't great, but... Um, we, need, we need 200 prefabs for that. Christ, don't I? Okay. Is there anything we can... One second, let's go look at... Resources. Factories, okay. So. 10 plus prefabs, okay. Then, or 40 more goods out, but... 40 heat demand. Right, do that. Research. I get that done. Is it researching? 11 minutes, okay. Can expand that if we frost break more. If we... we got cool. Go. Expand. Can we expand this as well? No, I need, need to do more frost breaking, unfortunately. Yep, cool. More industry, because there's loads of goods in there. Oh, let's just get, get taken on to that. Keep your heat plans maintained. It might save your life, then. So, is that producing more goods? Some prefabs at the moment. Let's go back to goods. We have got some prefabs coming. Industry's pumping. We need, in a, in a sense, we need another factory. Um, another industrial district. Um, let's frost break. About that. Have to get it done. Coal is minor, stable. We've got food, we've got industry, we just need. We probably need goods because that murder thing was really bad. Are they still exploring? And they're still going, cool. The the excess coal, actually. Just thought. I guess there's 10 more teams. Now, can we can we actually go anywhere with ten teams? Requires twenty. Okay, keep on the call. Then when they've done that expedition, yeah, when they've done that expedition, get back on it. What's this? Find the shaft. Coal is running out. Stuart, a fire's broken out in the coal mine. If we don't react, we'll lose the mine along with the deposit. Some of the stewards managed to, in the rescue effort insist we can still save the mine by cutting off air supplies to shafts, getting the flames. But some of the child miners are in there making their way out. It'll suffocate them too. Lock off the air supply. We'll save the we'll save the deposit. Some children may die. Evacuate the workers. But coal mine will destroy the district's remaining coal reduced. No, sorry, the kids are gonna die. Here's what it is. 114 child miners. Jesus Christ! Well, that is shit. It does happen. It is unfortunate. Goods production. More industry. Cool. Prefabs are coming as well. I'll tell you what, housing is an issue. Um, let's we need to get more expansion out here. Let's do it. There we go, cool. Do that. We need to get housing sorted before we do it else because we're really struggling badly. Cool, that'll do. Can we expand these food districts? Yeah, I think we did that one as well. What is this one? Oh, food remaining. Um, 
Can you expand if you can, yeah. I can't actually get there. Oh, there's a hundred million one as well, so stay away from that. That one's fine. Oh, we ain't got any prefabs. That's fine. We'll make some soon. New building proposed by the Londoners. Is it? Is it? it should already be a lot, then. It's... What's it do? That's massive. So we need nine prefabs on the heat stamps. Okay. Let's wait for the prefabs on the heat stamps and we'll get it. It. What is it? Oh, 180 heat stamps, okay. Close, but no cigar. Oh. 2,000 more people than the Mongols. Oh my god. I'll always just keep up with these amount of people. It's insane. Don't want to invite them along. Right, we've got... What's this? Guarantee of Frostlanders that you can add proper... Taking the new Londoners. Can't do it. A, ca a cavern near the bay we found disturbing sight bodies at the sturdy frost lying on there laid side by side to freeze. With black oil markings on their closed eye and eye barrel sure. We can hear the old machine somewhere desk that coast machine would, would require a source of fuel. We should investigate. I see. So where is it? Desolate coast. Port expedition do it. Right. We have more bodies. We need prefabs though. Switch to prefabs. Christ. Okay. Can we build this yet? We just need more heat stamps. Come on. Come on, more heat stamps. Right. Mechanical factory. Do it. Get built. We need housing. And we need industry. We need prefabs being produced. And then we can switch to goods. Keep going, keep going. That should start smashing it. Good. Did you switch to prefabs? Yeah, yes. So the output is loads of prefabs and some goods as well, which is good. We can. Oh, cool, we've got some things pumping now. Industrial district. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Cool. Okay, done. We're out right on food, we're out right on materials, housing is another issue. Prefabs are spamming though. Whoa, whoa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Not long until the oil runs out, it's getting worrying. Oh, what's this? Sick neighbours, no common rules. Commit to resolving the issue. What's this? What is it? This Containment prevention. There is. Supportive quarantine. Contagious people were placed in quarantine and cared for by the city and dedicated to the accommodation. Sold to damage per capita is slightly increased. Infectious badge. Contagious people required to wear a special badge that allows others to limit interaction with them. If they have tension slightly increased, disease is decreased. Let's do that. Let's start let's start singling people out. <laughs> eh, we're going to vote for it. We're going to risk it for a biscuit. Come on. Oh no. It's looking a bit tight. Can we get it? Ye, yes. Got it through, the baby. Law has been approved. I have spoken. Cool. Cool. Someone said. Let's just stop a sec. Yeah, can you sod off now? Stable. Squalor notable and growing. Crime diminishing. Right, cool. Your council has voted. Right, we need housing. We definitely need housing. 100%. Housing district. Might be able to get them much there. Because it is quite tight. Oh, I can put it near the food district, actually. There we go. Cool. That'll help. And then the goods place is being produced. Industry's going to struggle a bit. It's fine. 
Yeah, now squalor is growing. And let's just have a look. Is there anything that can do squalor? When it comes to Asian maintenance, oh, maintenance, dude. It's housing. Shelter, heat. What's this? Turn shelter. Okay. Maintenance duty. Materials demand a significant increase. Okay. Society. Hospitals, youth. Ooh, youth. Liberated youth. Trust rises slightly. Oh, no. We, we've got them working anyway. We don't want that. Pubs. Surveillance. Oh, my God. There's so much. Crossland harvest. Resources. Oh, we'll be on the city. Work compensation. Trust rises. Heat. Stamps. But no, we're not doing that crap. Um. Maintenance duty. All right, all do maintenance, unproductive. Materials to meet production efficiency is slightly increased. Okay, that's the Star Wars, that's the Pilgrims. All right, try that. That'd be interesting. Okay. So what's to happen? Yeah, that's still getting this fuel. Thousands should be being produced. Industry struggling this slightly. Um, keep pumping, keep pumping. Um, what the hell is this thing? So if we build in a, if we do, no, no, it's the wrong thing. If we go on, oh, I've got enough resources. It'll be, what is it under? Goods, 50k stockpile, proximity to workforce demand in the neighboring industry. So that could be useful if we can get both in it. And that's it. How much is it? Heat to heat stuff. Jesus, that's not cheap. Colder season heat demand increased. Holy Christ, that shot up. Well, we are buggered. Still got enough for 63 weeks, so we should be okay. Right, one second. We'll stop that. Does it benefit both? Oh, you can't. Oh, does that put... Ah, there we get both. Yes. Good. Cool, that'll help with workers as well. Deactivated excessive wear. How do you... what? Expanded for industry. Excessive wear. What was that? What does excessive wear mean? Excessive wear. So... Excessive wear, is it there? Is it from Squalor? Mm, I don't really know. We'll find out. Maybe it's the lack of... Oh, we've got industrial goods there. What's he producing? Prefabs. He goes to goods. Then we need to build another one of those industri industrial things which we've got. Excessive wear. Excessive wear, right. How do we solve this? Repair this building. 100 prefabs. Okay. That's fine. Don't mind. Underproductive due maintenance, cool, that reduces the cost of things. Yes, industry's pumping, perfect. Good production, then what we do is we do industrial. Ah, uh, it's 180 heat stamps. We're getting there, we're getting close. Where's the um are the Frostlanders done? It's still exposed. Oh no, they already told us, I didn't realise this is me ballsing up again. What's this? Old dreadnought ruined we found oil. This place might finally be by the fuel, we'll be able to build a new colony on this site, okay? We found oil, baby! Ah, God, I just ripped my leg. I need leather seat. I'm not leather. Oh, it is leather, damn it. So that's the dreadnought. Oh! On the broken shores lies an old derelict dreadnought. It seems to have been upgraded to run on oil. As it rests besides rich deposits, perhaps the site was a refueling station, but deep in the black pools lies rows of frozen bodies. Wrapped in shrouds and praising still wells, our scouts shudder at the site. These ore deposits will surely solve our fuel needs, but we'd have to desecrate these graves to access them. Respect the dead, we only access the vacant. Remove the bodies. Remove the bodies! Oil will save the city, but we need to adapt our generator to use it. In the meantime, we'll establish a reliable supply. It's time we settled beyond New London. Create a colony at Old Dreadnought and connect it with a solid trail to New London. Only then can we supply be sure. Okay. Well, so how do we create a colony? 
What? Do we have to build there? No, don't tell me we have to build there. We'll click on it. Requires 20 frost on teams, required trail connection to the city. We can establish a corner here. Okay, we need to connect path. Okay, we need... sorry, we're gonna have to take you off and use our reserves. Come to here, connect path. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, do you have to go to there? Yeah. You do that. How long is it going to take? Good question. No. Oh, ah. How long is this going to take to go on? 15 weeks. Ugh, we're going to be almost out of fuel. Ouch, my finger, these F in splinters. Unfortunately, that must be painful for you. What's this? Are they out? Oh, are they done? No supplies, okay. Destroy it. Let's deactivate. Requires more resources and deposits. What? What's this? Deactivate, no access to resource deposits. Okay, destroy it. Demolish. Let's demolish the building. That's fine. Just need repairing. Get away, okay. That's fine. So the oil should be coming in soon. Um, we do have pre-funds being made, which is good. Resource deposit nearly cleared. That's the that's the coal and tick crap. Okay, let's have a look at these. Frostland. What's this? 20 frost on team output, 600 work plus, 15 frost on team, 5 work plus. Hmm. Logistics, uh, what heating resources is what we're really struggling on. How do we. Wait one sec, we go there. Establish a colony on the old road that transfer at least 75 oil output to New London. We might run out of. I think we've got enough coal for 28 weeks at this rate, but that's, that's with us making some. So it's going to go out quick. But obviously, we can put some more scouts on that. Um. Is the housing station? Is this base housing demand on heat districts is decrease? Yes, do that. Just do that. It's fine. That's fine. Squall and notable one out. Squall is notable. We've got tons of prefabs now, anyway. Oh, whoops. So, can we switch that back to goods? Goods are now being done. Go. Food and materials are there. It's fuel now. What's this? Heat stamps. Pilgrims suggest action. Stirred, we're struggling with heat stamps. A group of pilgrims have come forward with an idea how to solve it. We should pass durable goods lets us pursue it and the city will benefit. The pilgrims look with distrust at what the communists, at what other communities propose to say communists. They will only appreciate you getting behind the idea. Investigate the solution. If you have a way to solve heat stamps, so promise me you will pass the durable six for one plus. What's this? We should pass the durable goods, let us pursue it, and the city will benefit. Durable goods, let's actually do it. In order to make best use of springs, we focus on producing sturdy and stuff. Goods demands per capita is reduced. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do it now. Oh, the unproductive do maintenance. Um, we need to negotiate for this one now, don't we? Open negotiation for us, that's it. Negotiation. Mm. Go to the New Londoners. What do you want? Calibrated goods fallacy. Back to using machinery and entry. Advanced chemical hothouse. Mechanized sword. Okay, what else do they, what do these want? Frostlanders want. Building advanced bio waste hothouse, massive bio waste, more food. Rec oh heat recycling. We will Redirect access heat from industrial machines. No, we're not doing that. Untreated sawmill. Okay, it's a massive. Okay. We'll do that. Agreed. Pass what I want to pass. Oh. And this should do it.
The delegates have spoken. Yay, the we got it. So effect. that reduces our... Oh my god, our industry things have just gone through the roof. I'll tell you what we could actually do. How much is this producing? Demand is producing the delegates to... Oh, have yeah, reached it's a decision. A new law takes hold. A new law takes hold. I'll tell you what we do need is housing. Yeah. How's the um the path coming? Are they still building that? Construction time fifteen weeks. Required calls. Bit twenty twenty frostland teams. Three frosts. Yeah, twenty point one. Oh the, what the hell? Ah, I didn't send colonists, I'm an absolute penis. Three thousand colonists will set me. Okay. Resource and population transfer. You transfer resources population between colonies and city to send resources open the panel of the chosen colony, specify direction. Sending any resources supplies them to buy shipping capacity. To increase shipping capacity, you research construct skyways along the entire district between a colony and a city. You click meet demand and prioritize for the okay. If you have a stockpile of resources, you can send it using the send transport button. Oh my god, this is getting complicated. Send people to a location, open the panel. Okay. So research. The buy away sir, pass durable goods, okay. So center resource. Shit. is that it being sent then? I think I I think I did it. Alright. Oh, Trail construction. That was very confusing. Right. You can transfer it between the colonies to send the resources open the panel of the chosen colony and specify the direction. So maybe it's that. I don't know. I imagine it's been established now, is it not? It just doesn't does it actually give us a time limit how long it's gonna take? We have to pull. Oh, they're, they're building it now? Oh, they're building it. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. Cool. So everything's going well. We, oh, we lost 2,000 people, though. So we actually don't need. We demolish this. Old Dreadnought Furnace is under construction. What? I was in history. Oh, we'll have to demolish it once we build it. We don't need it. Slightly decreased efficiency. Why is that? A lot of people. Okay, one sec. We can sort this. Right, we don't need as much. What's this? Good production. We don't need that. Uh, how much? Oh, what's this? Badge of shame, no containment potential. Steward with disease coming under control. More and more citizens are being forced to wait on monitored infection badges. Oh. Isn't that okay? Just oh, these things are annoying as hell. I can't see what I want to read. That is a stupid design choice. Get the hell out of the way. This produces 205. Can we drop that? We've got 213. You know what? Let's deactivate this for a small time because we've got enough, more than enough industry. And we can pop what are these do. Dense housing industry. Well, let's make sure they work. How about that? There you go. Um, resource nearly depleted. What's this? Slightly decreased efficiency. Is that the food? Cool. It's fine though. We'll get a stockpile of food going. Great. Why the hell is that? Oh, we don't need it, do we? So, we'll get a stockpile going a bit. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's do it. We can get rid of the housing. We've got more than enough housing now. We can at least deactivate it. There you go. Deactivate it. Cool. So what, what could we do with... Um, I don't know. Uh, we seem to be in a good position. Oh, can we pass another law? No. Recess. We pass... That's still doing that, okay. We'll just hold for now. 
we'll get some ice breaking done for other logistic subs, I think. Probably, like, probably a good choice. There is that massive fertile sort of thing. There's also logistics up there. We'll go down this way. There you go. Awesome. Cool. And we're going to finish it there. I think we, that was a good episode. Things have gone well. I think we're learning a lot. Things are progressing. Hopefully you're learning a bit with me as well. It's all going pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. And I will see you on the next one. Really enjoying Frostbook 2. At first, I would say, I wasn't as fond as Frostbook 1. Now, it's growing on me like mould. And I'm loving it. Anyway, take it easy, guys.